Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lilbo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Today, we're going to be talking about if the new Black Ops 6 omnidirectional movement will be good or bad for Black Ops 6. We're going to be talking about what the movement changes are. What is omni movement? Will it be super different to the regular movement we have now? If you could turn it off, why this is such a big thing? And what this movement change will do and potentially do for call of duty but before we get into it if you guys haven't yet and or you're new to the channel make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and comment down your thoughts on the new omni movement and movement changes for black ops 6 but now let's get right into it so what are the movement changes well we have new omni movement that allows us to run sprint dive crouch and do other things all within a 360 degree angle and we also have new intelligent movement which was kind of seen in modern warfare 3 with the mantle assist settings so we already know what it kind of is but i'm going to be focusing more on omni movement the fact that we're getting omni movement with no jetpacks at all is a first for call of duty we're going to be able to run and dive crouch slide when we're facing forward and from the left right and our back which is absolutely insane and if you're wondering what is omni movement and what it actually allows us to do like i said earlier omnidirectional movement will allow us to sprint and dive and do anything in any direction without any setback other than stamina if you guys have watched the cod direct the breakdown and some of the trailers then you know what omni movement already is if you played games like hell divers max pain and any other like horror game and or multiplayer game that has omnidirectional movement then expect call of duty black ops 6 to play like that omni movement is such a huge thing because the last time i believe we had it was for the jetpack call of duties and some sort of new movement since modern warfare 2019 was kind of wanted by the community so so seeing treyarch go this direction with movement is absolutely amazing to see i feel like with omni movement and intelligent movement the skill gap between bad to good and from good to really great players will be even bigger and also add in the fact that this movement the omni movement will be super different to the regular movement we have now and that we have had since modern warfare 2019 and this basically confirms that the movement will be super different to what we have now i have seen some people be very skeptical and afraid of this new movement change as they don't know if it will be good for call of duty and for the fact that we have omni movement without jetpacks for once but yeah omni movement and intelligent movement will be super different to what we have now if intelligent movement is actually good unlike mantle assist was in modern warfare 3 that could be really huge for pro players bad players and good players you might be wondering since the movement will be so different since there's going to be so many movement changes and all that stuff will you be able to actually turn off all this new movement changes and go back to the regular movement the answer is yes they didn't fully confirm it but the fact that they're showing us before and afters with the movement changes it's a pretty good sign that you'll actually be able to remove the new movement changes and stick with the regular movement i personally think for the first week or so every player should be trying out omni movement if they like it or not and adjust from there there's no reason to turn it off on launch i saw a bunch of people talking about doing this which really makes no sense call of duty cannot stay as this one dimensional thing which makes no sense because movement in call of duty barely changes and once it does change it's good to test out but yeah if you're a regular player i truly believe that you should be trying out omni movement and intelligent movement for at least the first week or so and adjust your settings from there and you might be wondering why is this such a big thing for the call of duty community well it's because for the past four to five years since Modern Warfare 2019, from Modern Warfare 2019 all the way to Vanguard, surprisingly, the movement barely changed. It was really good. But then we had Modern Warfare 2 2022, which removed all that movement and ruined Call of Duty for most players. And then with Modern Warfare 3, a $70 DLC, which gave us back our movement a little bit. But based off that, the movement hasn't really changed that much between Modern Warfare 2019 all the way to where we are now. The only big difference was that one game did not have Modern Warfare 2019 movement, and a second game did have movement, but not exactly to Modern Warfare 2019's movement. And all this contributes to Omni movement being a thing in Call of Duty now, as it's a huge movement change. It's a good movement system as well coming into Call of Duty, which never had it without jetpacks and it honestly seems like it gives more freedom to the players on what they want to do which is what most of the players wanted they wanted more freedom with the movement in call of duty as for the past two to three years it's been kind of restricted and you might be wondering what will this movement change do for players for the game and for the future of call of duty 
So for the players, the new Omni movement will create an even bigger skill gap between bad to good players. And there's a lot more possibilities within gunfights for things to happen. With the skill gap getting bigger and then movement being a huge thing a part of Black Ops 6, I truly believe that worse players will that worse players will have a worse time with this movement. But if a good player is actually able to master this movement, they'll have a fun time enjoying the game. Next, it will change the game a ton because this could lead Call of Duty into a new era of movement and gameplay where it gives freedom to the player with how they want to move and fight. And this could potentially lead to more Call of Duty games having Omni movement and intelligent movement. And if we have this Omni movement for a long time, you never know, we might have another Jetpack Call of Duty coming our way. And for the future of Call of Duty, I think this will do potentially good or bad things. All dev teams might follow this Omni movement and implement it in all their Call of Duty games, but for some developer teams might implement it weirdly, make changes to it that were not needed, and do horrendous things to Omni movement. I truly hope that this doesn't happen, but you never know because it's Call of Duty. But either way, Omni movement is good for Call of Duty. It's something different to what we have now, and it's a huge step and change within Call of Duty's gameplay that was much needed feel like newer games and it's a refresher for the franchise and it can only really be good or bad depending on how you actually use omni movement and how good you are with it but with all the good that is happening and potentially will happen we all should be acknowledging the potential bad things that could happen with the new movement changes first off treyarch or any developing team could mess it up in updates and patches changing how it feels and or there could be massive glitches that let you get out of the map get in weird spots and or more another negative thing that could potentially happen is that omnidirectional movement is not even used in call of duty black ops 6. so with what i said earlier with how you could turn it off imagine if the treyarch development team were expecting people to use it before black ops 6 is better for you to use a regular movement and not use omnidirectional movement just like for mantle assist in modern warfare 3 which would absolutely suck because omnidirectional movement in any game is super fun to use and super fun to learn as well another negative thing is that this potentially could be the only call of duty boots on the ground game that has omnidirectional movement and if it's bad we might never ever see it in another boots on the ground call of duty game and another thing that could potentially happen is that the controls and the responsiveness of the omni movement could be either too slow and really bad and players might get frustrated and just have it turned off and a huge problem that i see now with all the news and leaks about modern warfare 3 and warzone converting into black ops 6 is that what if warzone does not have the omnidirectional movement which i saw a bunch of people talk about as they're not transferring modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 stuff to black ops 6 directly if you remember how mono for 2019 cold war and vanguard were they were all integrated to one and all the attachments and weapons transferred over that in itself is a huge problem that all the developer teams need to figure out with themselves as the new movement and game could potentially ruin warzone for a period of time despite all the positives and negatives for me personally, I truly think that Call of Duty will be better with omnidirectional movement. More freedom in the gameplay and less restrictive things going on in the game is good for Call of Duty as it gives everyone freedom to do whatever they want in any fight. It also changes and refreshes the game. So yes, I believe that Omni movement will be good for Black Ops 6 and for Call of Duty and that this changes everything about Call of Duty, the gameplay, what can happen and how fights will play out and much more. And I truly believe that this should be in every Call of Duty moving forward and every dev team really needs to know how to actually make Omni movement good and make changes that are good and that are needed for Omni movement moving forward. There should be no Call of Duty game from now on that makes drastic changes to the movement unless it's a jetpack Call of Duty. The community knows what we want for movement. The dev teams know what we want. We've seen good and bad things happen in movement in the past four to five years. And we know the mistakes we should not make again. So I'm really expecting omnidirectional movement to be game changing and changing the franchise for the future. And I'm really excited to be using it in a boots on the ground setting for once. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.